everybody, my name is Panda. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a grid type of background that you've seen in intros such as my Nixpix intro, which is a brand new intro, which I wasn't really motivated at the time when I made the intro, but I have lo I have gained a little bit more motivation since then. I've been basically just thinking like, I want to make intros, I want to make intros and slapping myself in the face, and then I jumped out of a window, and then I became Superman and flew across the city! Or that was a dream. Probably the dream one. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a grid background type thing in After Effects. You don't need any plugins or anything like that. So, yeah. Let's, uh, what you want to do is you want to have a composition, any kind of composition. You can do any settings like 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 and make it 60 FPS or 30 FPS depending on what you prefer. Uh, so yeah, now right in this area, we're going to right click, click new, and we're going to create a, sol a solid. And if you want to do it really quickly, you can click control Y, and you'll create a lovely shape. Uh, well, basically, you'll create a solid uh, image, and you want to basically make this one black, pure black. And then you're going to hit control Y again, and basically, you're going to make this one... Um, like a lighter type of gray but you want it to have a little color in it so whatever color you pick just basically make it like a lighter dark blackish color that you want the color to look like that's too light actually I need it to be a much darker color basically like that nearly black but with a little bit of color yeah like that you want to drag that underneath the solid black layer now you want to go to effects and you want to basically you want to type in grid and then you take the grid it'll be in generate you'll take the grid and put it on the solid black layer then from size from you want to change it to width and height sliders this will basically make it look like this now what we want to do is we want to change the width really far basically to around this which is almost perfect we want to basically have it to where those lines are out of there and then those lines are out there. Well, actually, they can be like this. And then this can be like this. Around that. Basically, have it look and fit well like this. Well, you can use these settings, basically, for the grid type thing. And you want to take the color that you want. And basically, make it a nice bright color if you want the grid to look like that. There. So now we have this, and it looks good and fine and dandy. And if you hold, if you, in the anchor, <coughs> in the grid section, uh, there'll be an anchor part. Uh, basically, if you move this, you see it moves. We'll be using that effect later. So yeah. So now we're gonna take the black solid, and we're gonna hit this little button uh, on these little preset things. You can also add motion blur if you really want to, but this will make it a 3D layer. And if you don't see it, you'll probably see this. You just go down here and click toggle swatches and modes. If you're on CC, you might have it look like this, which you'll have all of the things, so you don't really need it. I like to have it like this because I have more space to edit. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to hit this arrow, and you want to hit this arrow in the transform section, and it'll look a little bit more complicated. It's really not. You don't really have to change a lot of settings. Basically, you'll move this one, which is the X rotation, and make it look like this. Now we're going to hit this chain, and basically we're going to drag this out, and then we're going to drag this one out. And we're going to keep dragging these solids out and making the rotation go down until we have a perfect look that we want to go with. So we want to have this like wide out and then have this zoomed like this. Um, but we want to have it look a little bit more like that. So now it'll look like this, but you'll say, but the grid looks kind of, it looks like it's too, there's not much grid. Just make it less and you'll have a better looking grid. You can also make the width smaller if you prefer to have it look like that. So if we're in full, it'll look more like this. It'll have like a really thin grid or you want a bigger, chunkier grid. That looks really weird, but you could make it work. Basically, this is how to make that type of thing. And I hope this was helpful for you. Now, if you want to know how to make it move, basically you hit this anchor point, you hit the stopwatch on it. At the very beginning, go to the end, 
and basically drag this uh, click and then hold and drag it forward about there uh, about like that and then if you uh, do uh, change the settings back down and then do a RAM preview you can see it moves so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you want to make a grid type of intro or whatever yeah that's basically how to do it it's really simple and it's not that hard to do and you can get it to look pretty nice if you want it to go faster you just drag it further like further ahead like that and then if we ran previous it'll go faster so yeah i hope this tutorial was useful for you and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you want to see more tutorials or anything like that you can leave a like um yeah anyways i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye